Never forget list comprehension after this video. This is a program to get the squares of all the numbers from the numbers list. Here there is a simple for loop that does just that. Let's replace this with list comprehension. First let me comment the for loop logic. Let's create a variable called squares. Then let me grab the expression part which is n raised to 2. Then let's grab the for line and add it after the expression. So what this does now is for every element n in numbers, it will apply the expression we provided which is squaring it. So my advice would be while you're still getting a hang of list comprehension, first write out a normal for loop and then convert it the way I have done by grabbing the expression and the for loop line. So basically list comprehension offers a shorter syntax when you want to create a list based on the values of an existing iterable like a list tuple or even maybe a range object. So we can even include conditions in list comprehension. What we need to do is add an if condition after the for loop line. So let's say we want the squares of only even numbers from this list. So I can add a simple if condition that says give me n only for numbers where n is even. If you learn something new, be sure to like this video. Thanks for watching.